And from homes, we switch gears to energy exploration. Richard Heinberg is the senior fellow at the Post Carbon Institute and says one of the reasons why the global economic growth will continue to slow is because companies are having a difficult time finding cheap sources of energy. And I had a chance to talk with him earlier, and he explains his thesis in his book, The End of Growth, Adapting to the New Economic Reality. Right. Well, over the past few decades, uh, the global economy has grown very rapidly. This is unprecedented in historic terms. If you go back even a few centuries, economies were pretty much static uh, by modern terms. Uh, but this economic growth that we've seen has been based upon cheap, abundant energy. Energy is what enables us to do things, and with uh, enormous quantities of cheap fossil fuels, we were able to make our economies grow as never before in, in world history. I think that era is coming to an end, uh, and it's not only because oil is more expensive, it's also because of other underlying factors in the economy. Let, let's go a little bit deeper in this energy question because we've got crude oil right now well over $100 a barrel and a lot of economists or strategists would, would associate stronger oil prices with a healthy economy. Uh, is that something that perhaps is more of a theory than a fact? Well, it, it's clear that over the past 40 years, every time we've had an oil price spike, a recession has immediately followed. This happened in 2008. It's, I wouldn't say that the oil price spike in July 2008 that brought the world oil price up to almost $150 a barrel, I wouldn't argue that that was uh, the sole cause of the recession, but it certainly was a, a major contributing factor. Uh, oil prices are inevitably rising these days because of the higher cost of finding and producing oil. The oil industry is no longer finding and producing oil in onshore areas that are, that are easy to explore and, and produce from. Uh, the industry is having to go to uh, offshore uh, deep water and ultra deep water fields to tar sands in, in Canada to heavy oil in Venezuela. I'd, I'd like to get your thoughts on where are we with the, this running out of oil theory. Right. Well, we certainly are not running out of oil. There are still enormous amounts of oil left. The problem is we are running out of the, the cheap, easy stuff that's made economic growth so, so easy to achieve. Uh, it's the low-hanging fruit problem. Uh, we are finishing off the, the low-hanging fruit of our global oil endowment. And what's left is not only going to be more expensive to produce, it's also going to be more environmentally risky. So problems like the Deepwater Horizon catastrophe of a couple of years ago are going to become more frequent as we look in, in more obscure areas for the world's remaining oil supply.